Let us do the next test. The next one is the characteristics short test. This is similar to what we did earlier. That is the pickup test and now what we are going to do is a short test. So, in characteristics short test, we can randomly click multiple points in any location that we want. So, you can see anything above the red line should operate and below the red line should not operate and let me click on the boundary. So, as and when I click on the graph, the corresponding bias and differential current will be highlighted here. So, when you click on run all slope short test, we are going to inject the corresponding bias and differential values and based on the feedback we can see the results here. So, there is no operation below the line, it is operated. So, if the test fails you will be able to see a red into mark. So, that is the overall result you can see from the table. So, the entire transformer differential relay has been tested with all these test cases shown here and all these results will be saved in a single tab. When you click here, click view report, you will be able to see the overall results. There are four pages in this report. Page 1 displays the settings that we have made, the differential characteristics along with the relay settings that we have entered. So, let me go back, click on page 2. You can see the stabilization test, the timing test results, the pickup test results for both windings. Page 3, the characteristics test the table form as well as the graphical form, the second harmonic block test, the fifth harmonic test and the last test that we did just now is the characteristics short test. So, if you want to repeat any specific test, you can click on this particular arrow mark, the play button of that particular corresponding test, else you can come back to the previous screen.